Hello and thank you very much for clicking on this video. If you like me that has more than one device, sometimes it becomes a pain to make sure that certain folders between your example, your phone and your tablet and your DeX is in sync. In my case, I have the folder on my Galaxy uh, Tab S6 called Documents and I have the same folder on my phone. And I want to make sure that these two folders are always in sync. There is a lot of apps that can do that. One of them I can mention is Google Drive Sync, um, which allows you to select the folder on your phone and to be synced to your Google Drive. And then on my Galaxy tablet, I can select the same app to sync the same folder on Google Drive back to my uh, tablet. Uh, but it's it introduces a middleman, so Google Drive, and it, sometimes it becomes a pain and etc. Um, and like I said, there is a lot of apps that can do that. In this video, I will show you one of them that is called Sync Thing. Sync Thing is a free open source service that allows you to connect quite a lot of devices between them and sync the folders uh, between them for free. As an example, the devices that this Sync Thing supports is Windows, uh, quite a lot of Linux distros, it supports the Android, and a lot and a lot more. So, and it's open source and it's free. Very good. So, um, what you see in front of you, obviously me plus the screen of my DeX. Um, on the right hand side, what you see is basically a screencast of my phone. So if I go to, as you can see, I can go and I hopefully you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing. Hopefully the camera will be able to pick up what I'm doing. And on the left hand side, this is the app sync thing running. And at the moment at the top, there is two tabs. It says folder and devices. There is nothing in the folder and there is nothing in devices. If I open the same app on the my Note 9, I do have the same thing. The folder and the devices are empty. So we need to start setting everything up. The setup process is a bit of a pain, but when you're done once or twice, you will get hang, uh, handled it. And believe me, it becomes very, very easy to set up and, and then no problems at all. Um, right, so let's start. First of all, uh, before doing anything, you need to plan in advance what kind of folders you want to sync. So if I go to Samsung File Manager, and in here, under, under Internal, there is a folder, or should be a folder called Vault. If I'm not created, let's go and find the folder called Documents. So the folder called Documents inside here, Documents folder is empty. I'm take, I'm picking up the internal storage of my DeX, not SD card, because this app uh, only has the read access to SD card. You cannot write. So what that means basically, if you want to sync your SD card folder with your phone you can only send the data off SD card to your phone, but you can't receive. So it's only read, read option available for SD card. But for internal storage on your Android device, read and write is not a problem. So whatever I change inside the internal storage documents folder, it will affect the internal storage document folder on my phone. I cannot do SD card. So this is the uh, SD card, uh, sorry, this is internal storage documents folder. And if I go to my phone under file manager, and if I go to internal storage, if I'll go to folder all documents, it's blank, it's empty here. So I do have a folder, folders already set up and I'm planned already how the connection will happen. So documents folder on my phone and documents folder on my DeX. And the idea is if I download the folder on my phone from email from a client, on email from a client, from supplier, et cetera, I know that I need to save that file inside the documents folder and it's automatically will be synced and it will appear on the DeX. So there is no send file sharing and etc. requires. So right, folder setup. Next, we need to make a connection between these two devices. The connection happens, basically it can go via Wi-Fi or data or 4G, 5G and 12G, whatever that gonna be by the time you're watching this video. And the connection happens in these steps. You open the, the, right, you will need the camera. You will need the camera to scan the QR code. So basically that means that I will scan the DEX ID with my phone, not the phone ID with the DEX because I can't just go and try to twist around my tablet and trying to 
get the camera focused on the ID card. So uh, to on the ID card, the QR code. So I need to open the ID card uh, or the special unique QR code off my DEX and scan it with my phone. So what I'll do, I will bring that a bit forward. So on the Sync Thing app inside the DEX, if you click on the top left corner, the hamburger menu, it is a lot of options and one of them you will find it uh, says show device ID. By the time you're watching the layout might change, but look for show device ID. When you click on that, you will bring up the QR code and the QR code is the unique ID number, which is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, four, six, eight chunks of code of seven characters each. So it's quite a long code. Obviously you can go and punch it manually or you just take your phone and scan it. So I do have the QR code of my DEX set up. So now if you look on here, uh, as you can see, I'm going to sync thing app. And if I click on the devices, the tab device, press plus, and it's asking me to fill the details, device ID, name, and the rest of the options like compression, introducer, or pause the device. I introduce it basically means this is a host and this is a client. Uh, pause devices means you pause the sync connection and you can resume that later. Compression is metadata, I'm just leaving as a default dynamic connection and di uh, device ID. If I tap on the QR code, I get the camera. So I get the camera and it's already scanned it. I just I just showed this, the QR code is scanned. It. Let's try again. So if I press that, as you can see, this is, I will, I will show you this way. The mind mouse pad and if i go and find the qr code bang the qr code scanned and it's automatically pre-fills all this id number now that's all i need to do is the second option choose the name so I choose the name i'm going to say tab s6 so tab s6 and press the tick on the top right press the tick and what's happening right now my phone sending the signal to this device this device can be anywhere in the world as long as you can get access uh, or somebody setting up this device <coughs> excuse me <coughs> oh my god if somebody has this device across another side of the globe as long as you get this qr code they can send you via like a picture or something you scan it and you can make a connection so the connection is right now is being established what's happening my phone is sending the signal to a sync thing servers and saying hello i'm looking for this device i want to be a friend with this device let me connect and this usually takes about to between half a minute to about 45 seconds. If I click finish from here, and if I go to uh, notifications on my DAX, you should get the second, there's one notification that is permanently showing, which says sync thing is active. And another notification should show per constantly saying, uh, uh, or will appear saying, for example, your, your, um, device SM960F would like to make a connection. Basically, this is a serial number model number of my Note 9. Uh, this phone has already changed name Note 9 on this device, but obviously the, the Galaxy Tab doesn't know what kind of device that is except only the uh, model number. So we're gonna click on the device SM and, and SMN960F wants to connect. I click on this notification, it brings the, 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 ta the, the window and it shows the ID number of this phone. It already gives out uh, by default the number of the model, of the device model, so I can click on that and I can change that to say Note 9. So I change Note 9 and rest of this I will leave as default. I click Add and now it says disconnected and my phone says disconnected, but in about 20 seconds or so, sometimes quicker, sometimes slower. So everything usually lasts and needs to take less than a minute. It's right now saying uh, connected, disconnected, and bang, it's been changed up to date. This is, these both phones, the, the, my Galaxy, uh, the, the DeX and my Note 9 is made a connection. So right now we need to set up that folder to be uh, in sync. If I click on here on folders, and I do the same on my phone, we need to do a connection. So like I mentioned, you need to uh, prepare the folder, which one you want to sync. I already prepared the documents folder, so we're going to sync that folder. I uh, will click on the folders, click on the add the folder, and this brings a card where I need to fill in the folder label, the unique ID number of that folder label of this device. 
So I leave it at default. I need to choose a directory. And below the directory, you can be a list of all the devices you connected. So right now it says Note 9, but if I connect my Shield TV, my Pixel 1, my Mrs. S8 Plus to my DeX, I will get the list of each of these devices. And I can choose that this folder can sync only with my Note 9 and the Shield TV and or only things for Note 9. So you just pick and choose which device is going to be affected. So folder type, folder label, I'm going to write documents. Documents. The directory, if I click on the directory, is going to bring up the standard uh, Android folder pickup. And if I go to my Galaxy Tab S6, I find the folder which it says documents between all of them. So this is the documents. I click on the documents, double click on the documents. It's empty, I click select. So documents, storage, emulated, zero documents. So internal storage, documents folder has been selected. And now uh, the I can choose that Note 9 needs to uh, be synced. So I click yes, I turn the Note 9. So it means when this is going to be uh, created, the signal will go to Note 9. I'm going to tell my Note 9 phone, hello, the tablet wants to sync this folder with you. Are you okay? Yes, and then a connection will happen. Then a couple of more options, folder type, send and receive. That's why I mentioned about SD card and internal storage. Internal storage has the option uh, and rights to do read and write. The uh, SD card or external storage only has the write, uh, sort of the read um, permission. So you can't read, write into SD card, into attached external hard drive. So it's, it's a bit downside for, for this, but it's still, it's still a very cool app. Watch for changes. If this turned on, this means anything happens on this folder is going to be reflected straight away on my Note 9. And the same vice versa. If I'll do watch for changes, anything that I'll do on my Note 9 is going to go back onto the uh, Galaxy tablet. Pause the folder. Previously, when I showed you, you can pause the device, so all device will be in, in pause on hold mode, so no changes will happen. Or if you have the like right now, Galaxy Tab S6 and Note 9 connect, and you have about 12 folders sync in between. You can pause each and one of the, each and every one of them, which one do you think is gonna be not required, so you can pause or unpause. Uh, file file pull order. Right now it says random. You can obviously ch uh, choose that between random, alphabetical, smallest first, largest first, um, oldest or newest. I'm gonna leave as random. Uh, usually I choose to be a newest first or smallest first, but I leave it random because I don't plan to send and receive 10,000 of files. It's going to be maybe 10 or 20 files per day. So it doesn't matter which way they're going to be synced. Uh, file versions and ignore patterns. I'm going to leave these options as default. So right now this is all set, is set up. I quickly check documents, ID, location, device. I click create. And now what's happening, my Galaxy tablet sending a signal to my Note 9 saying that there is a folder that we need to sync. And at the moment I can see in my notifications at the top of my phone screen, this is only one notification from SyncThink. So we're gonna wait until the second one just popped up. So I'm gonna just go down, find the <coughs> notification where it's saying device, <coughs> excuse me, device tab six, wants to share the folder documents with you. I tap on that, it brings up the card already pre-filled with the name, with ID, with automatically selected Galaxy Tab S6. Custom is by default as a file type, uh, which way you wanna syncing, is it watch folder and etc. but it says no directory. So directory field is blank. I need to tap on that. It opens the uh, recents, I'm gonna go to my note nine, I need to find the folder where it says documents. Let's find the folder documents. Inside the folder documents, there's only one with the dot in front, which is basically is hidden file, so ignore that. And I'm gonna say allow access to the, uh, to the documents. I'm gonna say allow. So documents are already pre-filled, and what's all I need to do is tap create, and the creation happened. And now if I go to my Galaxy tab, and the document says idle, and that my phone, it says idle as well. So idle, idle. So let's test. If I go to my phone and I go to folders and I'm right now inside this folder documents, which I made a connection. And if I open the file browser on my, on my Galaxy, Galaxy Tab S6 decks, I have the same folder here, which is blank. 
So I'm just gonna click on here, create a folder, and I'm gonna write test 001 and click create. So that's created. Right now the app, the sync thing app, detecting the changes. As soon as it detects the changes that this is being created, it will push the change to my phone. Bang, I do have a test 001 showing up. If I go right now on my phone and I create a folder on my phone saying test from note nine, note nine, create. And what's happening right now, the same thing on my phone, detecting the changes and pushing to my Galaxy Tab S6. Sometimes it's not gonna work straight away. The, what you need to do is basically um, close the app, the, the kill it from the background processes and run it again. Sometimes it happens, it's happened maybe once or twice in about 10 connections I set up. So just a quick tip for you. If you think there's nothing working, just kill the app on all, all on, on these two devices that you're trying to make a connection and just run it again. While I was talking about this, I do have a folder that's called test from Note 9 on my tab, uh, tab Galaxy Tab S6. And this is pretty much that's what's happening. As soon as you're downloading a file or something, just move this folder, your in invoices, documents, anything that you need to keep. You just move it here and it's gonna appear. So as example, if I go to internal storage on my phone and I go, you can see the phone here, go to downloads. And if I choose, for example, um, hold on, let's go to a power director folder. So somewhere I should have power director folder. So power director, uh, this is uh, like a, what's this called? A free audio files of power director movie maker that, that, that doesn't really uh, include it in this video. Anyway, I selected all these, I click copy, go back to internal, go to documents and copy here. So bang, this is all appeared here. And now same thing off my phone, syncing the changes to my Galaxy Tab S6. And usually in about 20 seconds, up to half a minute, it's all appearing here. So if I go right now, go on my uh, decks, I'm select all these files. I'm gonna say, I don't need them anymore. Click delete. And this folder is empty. Change is being detected, sending a signal to my Note 9. And no same thing app on Note 9, it gets instructions that it needs to delete these files and bang, it's gone. So I hope this video helps. Uh, this is, uh, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, there's a lot of apps that can do similar thing, but I found out the same thing I like more because there is no middleman. There is no, you need to sync this to some sort of a cloud storage device and sync it back. There is no middleman. Yes, with the Google Drive syncing app, it is a bit more secure because if you're syncing something to Google Drive between two devices and one of the devices dies or something happens, you still have the backup of the files off office, outside your organization, somewhere in the cloud in the massive Google data centers. But this is, I love this because it's happened instantaneously. There is no or auto sync every five minutes or so. And for my kind of purpose, for my kind of needs, this app is brilliant. So I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget there is a Samsung DeX subreddit group. We approaching three and a half thousand members. I can't believe it's actually happening. I can't believe you is so many there and everyone is so keen to help each other. So if you have any question about Samsung DeX, go to reddit.com. Uh, subreddit group, Samsung Dex, all the links you need to know how to find this Reddit group, you're gonna find the description below. And thank you much for watching and I hope you will subscribe to my channel cause that's kind of videos I do. Everything about Samsung Dex and the mobile computing in general. Thank you and goodbye.